We have five kits total. We're gonna to talk to you about each of those kits from what you can accomplish with our basic starter kit all the way down to our premium and premium XL kits. Also remember that you can buy additional angle, tubing, rivets, anything that's in the kits, you can also buy individually. So if you wanna modify and add to your existing order without upgrading to the next kit, you can do that just to get a little bit of the extra security. These aluminum kits are pretty much the foundation for how we frame everything. We frame everything out of 1 16th inch aluminum to get the most efficient, lightweight frame layout for your boat, regardless of what you want to accomplish. So for our starter kit, I would recommend that for a 1232 or 1236 John boat where you're just trying to do the front deck with a basic hatch or you're doing a super basic front deck with just like a wooden layover with no hatch and a back deck where you just want to deck the front and back without it getting overweighted and it's still being lightweight enough to be truck bettable or you know just still be versatile. This kit does really well if you want to have aluminum framing with a wooden layover deck that's sealed and fabricated nicely to get the best advantage out of it. If you're trying to get a front deck with lids and a back deck, the starter kit will not do that. But for people who want to just get it one and done and save on shipping, you can look into the starter XL kit. The starter XL kit has a little bit more of everything to get you a little farther. So if you want a front deck with a hatch or so, and you still want to be able to frame out the back deck in a smaller boat, like a 12 foot boat or maybe a 13, just under 14 foot boat, some 14 foot boats also, depending on how big and or how small and narrow they are, that'll get you done. But it'll be basic. This is just to help you get on the water, enjoy yourself, enjoy the safety, and a surety that your boat's gonna be built right and it's not gonna fail they're gonna have all the problems that's really what the starter kits are for they're not gonna get you very advanced though so if you saw some of the really cool things that people are doing out there you saw all the lids the rod lockers and things like that the start kit is not gonna get you there that's where you need to start looking into the pro level or in this case the premium kits for the pro level kit the pro level kit will get you fairly far in a 14 foot boat you can conservatively frame out a 16 foot boat if you want to super basic layout in a 16 foot boat the pro level kit will get you there you can do a fair amount of creativity and diversity with a pro level kit inside a 14 foot boat and you should have everything you need to really pimp out say a 1236 tracker topper or something equivalent along that range like a smaller 13 and a half foot Gregor you should be able to do quite a bit with 26 of aluminum and the tubing and the rivets and everything that goes there. It's a pretty good deal considering how much you'll get. And just know that these tubes, these sticks of aluminum, they go very, very quickly. Eight feet, 16 feet, 24 feet, gone very, very quickly. Just, uh, you'll be like, where did it all go? So people who have the pro level kit generally don't run into an issue of having to get more. And once you pick up how easy it is and how nice it is to just work with angled aluminum, I doubt that you'll like complain about having excess. If you do have excess, you'll be using it for other projects, other DIY stuff. Your DIY skills after building a boat will, will just grow substantially. And so just keep all that in mind if you're worried about like wasting or over getting aluminum because there's infinite, infinite uses for aluminum before and after you do your boat. If you're wanting a dry hatch system and a pretty intricate layout, like you want one of the best layouts. You want rod locker system, you might want dual rod lockers, you want a live well chill mod, you want very, very nice dry hatch cores, you want dual day boxes on side of your recessed foot pedal tray, you want like everything, you're gonna need to look into a premium kit or you're gonna need to modify your lesser kits with additional pieces to kind of give it uh, what a premium kit can do. And you can you have that diversity with our site. But our premium kit should be able to frame out for you a very, very nice 14 foot boat that should perform exceptionally well under those conditions. Like a 1542 or a 16 48 it'll frame those out very good as well where you shouldn't really need additional systems it doesn't do much more for anything bigger than that if you have a bigger boat like a 17 foot boat or bigger especially if you have a bigger outboard that is bigger than 25 horse or 30 horse you know you have you have like a pro 170 with a 50 horse or just bigger those are a bigger boat they're supposed to go faster they're supposed to take on bigger structures waves at a, at a, at a higher speed at that point in time uh, we do suggest you look into something like Nate's dry hatches where he's running 0 0.090, sometimes 1 8 inch aluminum sheeting for his deck kits and for his actual lids, which is substantially stronger than what the Gen X kit can offer. That's where we get into those and we will be getting to those a little bit later. Those really are meant for bigger boats, like a very, very, very big 1448 or 1454. But I mean, generally his kits are meant for 16 foot boats or bigger. And so if you're looking for the best kit for a bigger boat, uh, we definitely would check into those. Or you can also get a, a combination of his lids in our Gen X 
Dynamics framing system if you really are sold on it and you know your limits, you're not gonna overstress the boat and you just want the lightest efficiency to meet horsepower caps with the biggest hull possible. Our, Gen our Gen X kits definitely are there. They are very, very DIY friendly. We have extensive videos on YouTube as well as full instructional tutorials on these kits. We have these to break down the stigma that working with aluminum requires a high amount of skill. It doesn't, it really requires about the same amount of skill that it takes to work with wood decent. Slight learning curve, and I do mean slight. Now we have extensive documentary about our 116th aluminum framing, which we call ultralight framing. They go really well in tandem with the uh, half inch or like 5 8 inch or even 3 8 inch uh, wood decks, where we have extensive testimony of that, where we've ran wooden deck aluminum frame hatch combos, and that works really well. It also works extremely well and is meant to work with our aluminum lid kits as well, whether it's my Gen X system or an H-Dry hatches. Hope this answers all questions. Let us know if you need anything. Message us directly on the site or message us on Facebook or Instagram. We're always around no matter where you are. See you out there.